Hey guys, Matt Olga back here with you. Uh, welcome to Matt the Tech Guy, year two, where I talk about recent uh, pickups, uh, electronic and uh, technology pickups that I've gotten recently, and rate them the most I think about. It. So today we're going to be talking about. Today I went to Best Buy, and I brought something back that I. Well, I basically bought I br uh, I basically brought back the uh, the uh, the thing that I the uh, thing that I was telling you guys about the the speaker. Uh, I'm gonna change positions again. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, yeah, that looks better from that angle. For some reason, that that was just hitting the, the uh, things on my face, like the shadows on my face. So. We got a. We got my phone right here, and today, while I, while I was bringing that stuff back, I was basically looking for kind of an inexpensive uh, uh, Bluetooth connecting device where you can connect it uh, on the basically onto devices that don't have Bluetooth. And this is what I picked up. The it's the Allura Tech uh, Bluetooth Universal Audio Transmitter. Uh, it says not for use for smartphones, so you're not going to use it for your phone. You've already got Bluetooth probably on your phone anyway. Uh, Bluetooth enable any audio output device. And again, this is Allura Tech is the brand. That's the back. And it kind of gives you like a little diagram on what it hooks up to. It can hook up to a a TV and stereo is here, which is cool. I have one of the, I have a used one of those. Uh, a TV, a computer or laptop, a MP3 player, this is the weirdest one of all. A uh, motorcycle. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, we got TV, computer, MP3, motorcycle. I guess motorcycles have systems on them now, though. I don't know. I, that was really weird to me, though. I was like, all right, we'll just throw the motorcycle on there. That sounds good. Uh, it says connect to any audio output device with an ax out 3.5 millimeter or headset port 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, it's a Bluetooth. Tra it basically, it's like a transmitter. It transmits the sound or whatever into the output and sends it out. Uh, transmit audio up to 33 uh, feet away to any Bluetooth audio device. Bluetooth earbuds, Bluetooth uh, earphones, headphones, and Bluetooth speakers. So that's the little device thing on the back. Now. We're going to discuss that in just a minute. I'm actually wanting to do this because I kind of haven't figured this one other one out yet. That was the main thing that I went in to get. This is the thing that I picked up on the way out the door. I, it was on, you know, you know how they put all that stuff on the rack so you can't, you know, they're like, well, I, I'll, uh, you know, we got to get them, get buying stuff out the door too. You know how they do. But anyway, uh, oh. This one I've already opened up. This is the packaging. I, hopefully I don't have to bring this back because I destroyed the packaging on that. It's the Insignia Bluetooth Cube Speaker with speakerphone and selfie camera, which is really cool. Now, I haven't actually tried this out yet, but uh, that's the basically... If I can show it right. Okay, we got Bluetooth indicator on that side. Uh, charging indicator on that side. Very bottom... We have the, uh, what is it? You get this little booklet, basically. That's a little kind of like a little instruction book. Uh, microphone, I'm sorry. Uh, and, then you, and then on the back, you get the micro USB charging port and key strap, uh, keychain strap hole. So basically, that's the little keychain strap hole, kind of in the corner up there. You can't see it real well. I'm going to try to show it. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's the one that kind of has the kind of the indention on it. And then there's the little USB, mini USB charging port on the back. I got a pretty good shot of framing that. I didn't, you couldn't really see the other one real, real, real well when I put it up there. So we're going to try to, we're going to try to pair this up. And actually, now that I have my, my Wi-Fi on there now, and I don't, I, it's not off. I was like, why is this not, I was kind of frustrated because I, I wanted to try it in my car before I left. But I couldn't get the, I guess the Wi-Fi wasn't on, and I didn't know that. So it didn't do anything. I was like, I'm going to bring this piece of crap back. First, I, I thought it didn't work for some reason. 
but it says charging your speaker connect the small end of the charging cable uh, not included to this micro USB port underneath the, the cover on your speaker. Uh, connect the other uh, end to a USB port. Uh, when the battery is low, you will hear beeps. About 10 minutes later, the speaker will power off automatically. Uh, so I have one of those cords, so I need to plug that in. Uh, my One of my car didn't work. I think it was too big or something, or the, the, the fit didn't go in it or something. So I tried to do it in there, but... That wasn't a, like a regular USB like thing. I think it was more like a one that like an actual output cord or whatever. Um, so turning your speaker on and off, press and hold the uh, the power pairing button for three seconds to turn your speaker off and on. So basically, you kind of hit this little button in the middle, and it'll come on and off. So you see it; it's it's blinking, it's going on and off. And I think I can pretty much pair it now. It's we're gonna we're gonna. I'll show it again to you. It's 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 getting ready to do Bluetooth mode. So we're gonna try to pair this real quick. See if it works. Uh, it says we're gonna scan for devices. So hopefully that'll that'll. Uh, yeah, that didn't take long at all. That was real quick. Yeah, it's the NS slash CSP BT cube, the Bluetooth cube. So we're gonna play a little bit of music on there. And so we'll 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 pair it together. It's already on there on the devices, so I'm sure it won't take long to pair. Hopefully. Okay. Okay, it's connected. It says Bluetooth it said disconnected and then it said connected. I was like, well it's on there, it should be connected. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna play uh what's that? Select keyboard layout. Broadcom Bluetooth HID. I don't know what that is. I had some kind of weird prompt come up on my phone. So we're gonna do. We're gonna play the. We're gonna play that. We're gonna play. I wanna. I wanna. I'm always interested in these little, really tiny ones that, like this. This is like the smallest Bluetooth speaker I've ever seen in my life. Like literally, I've never seen one this small. So I'm all. I'm interested in really kind of the, like the small devices that can play music. With them. So we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna pull up Obis again. Ovis doesn't mind if we use his song. No. <laughs> Until Ovis sues me for for uh, copyright notice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then then I'll worry about it, but I won't worry about it right now. So we got Ovis regular thing. We're we're gonna play it through the speaker. See how it sounds. This is not a real big speaker, so I had it upside down. It sounds a little better with it on the top. Not bad for a little speaker, for a small one especially. Play this a little longer on this song so you can hear it, since it's kind of a littler device. I'm looking at the speaker bit. <laughs> as we as we play the music. Not bad for a little tiny 
minuscule speaker. <laughs> Not bad at all. You gotta hand it to Insignia. They make some interesting products. So we're gonna turn that off. So one second. Okay, now now it's back into pairing mode. It's not on Bluetooth anymore. Uh, you guys probably already know this, but uh, when it when like when it this is like the pairing uh, modes and how you know it's in pairing mode and all that kind of stuff. Uh, blinks blue rapidly. But the speaker's in pairing mode, so it'll go you know kind of fast. Uh, solid blue it means it's paired, so it's not it won't blink at all if it's in solid mode. Um, I'm gonna have to try this. Uh, this camera out too. I have no idea how that's going to work. It's basically got three functions. It's got this Bluetooth speaker, the speakerphone, and the uh, picture thing. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, connect your smartphone to the speaker. Using Bluetooth. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to read on the. <laughs> On the actual how to take pictures, because I don't know how the hell that's going to happen. So we're back in pairing mode. I'm trying to get it into off mode now. And it's, in the little, it's doing the little pairing thing. I'm trying to turn it back off. I think it's like five seconds. Uh, it's still in pairing mode. Okay, well, I'll try it one more time. No. Back into Bluetooth. Okay, now it's off. You just kind of, you got to hold it down for about ten seconds, and we'll turn it off. Well, about six seconds actually. A little longer. You press it down and hold it a little longer. So it's off now. That's the little mini cube Bluetooth speaker from Insignia, uh, with three features. It's basically got, uh, like I said, it's got Bluetooth uh, uh, connectivity. It also has, um, it also has a speakerphone. And a camera, believe it or not. You can actually take pictures with it. I'm going to have to read about the camera, though. Because I don't know how, I don't know how that got to But anyway. Uh, not a bad little speaker. Don't expect mind-blowing sound for anything that small. But at the same time, it's you know it's got good sound for, for a small speaker, especially. Uh, I'll read you what the contents are before I wrap it up. Uh, it's got a Bluetooth speaker, keychain strap. And I didn't show you that. That's in my car. Uh, quick setup guide. It's basically just a little string that you can kind of hold it to uh, and kind of carry it around. Features uh, Bluetooth streams, uh, music wirelessly. Rechargeable battery lasts up to two hours. Use as a speakerphone for hands-free talking and take pictures remotely using the power pairing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'll I'll have to get back with you on the uh, on the camera because I like I said I don't know how the heck that one's gonna work. But it works pretty good. I'm, I won't have to take it back. I'll, I'll put it in its little cubicle. Back in its little cubicle to rest. It's, it's had a hard day. Not playing a song for five seconds. I'm just kidding. But it did a good job. It's not a bad little speaker. If you're looking for, uh, if you're looking for just kind of a cute little, uh, cute little knock around one that you can kind of carry around with you and you know listen to music on or whatever. Uh, they got them up. At, they got them on sale at Best Buy right now. They're, uh, that was only this was only about five bucks, so not very expensive at all. That that was actually the only reason I bought it. If it would have been like twenty bucks or whatever, I'd be like, yeah, you know, even ten bucks, I'd probably be like, nah, I'm gonna pass. But five bucks, you can't beat five bucks. I mean, that's really not bad at all. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. We got more episodes coming up soon. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this one on the next uh, Matt the Tech Guy. But uh, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to kind of look at it and uh, kind of see. I'm going to actually do it on an unboxing. So I don't really know. Although it's not like a, you know, like a giant electronical device. But, it, you know, it'll be cool to, you know, kind of kind of unbox it and kind of show what's in there and kind of talk about it. Because I've never actually owned anything like a, you know, like a transmitter device before. So it should be pretty interesting. But anyway, thank you guys for, for uh, watching. I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel as usual. And I'll have more videos coming up soon for you guys to watch. Uh, just kind of check my channel every once in a while. Make sure you subscribe to uh, Media Masters on YouTube channel. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.